I'm sure you've asked, what are they doing in there? It's a question I've definitely asked myself when seeing those City of Omaha traffic study trucks. Turns out, it's pretty obvious. Traffic study cars collecting data about our roads to make them better and safer. We just need to know what that data is so we know um, what we need to build out there. Omaha traffic engineer Jeff Rieselman has done some traffic counting in his day, and he can assure me they're not sleeping in the traffic study vehicles. So they're sitting there in their cars pushing buttons for every particular movement that they see a vehicle make. And that means a lot of button pushing. When 90th and Dodge was recently counted, it was more than 20,000 in just four hours. You're, you're pushing this thousands of times and obviously more um, depending on how big the intersection is. And when the intersections have high volume, they focus their attention. We'll actually focus maybe on two approaches because they can't do all four at the same time. Each year, counters collect data for about 300 intersections. That's just a portion of what needs to be continuously counted. We have about 1,100 intersections in the city, so we on average get to each of them about once every three to five years. The data is collected for many reasons, to see if traffic and turn lights are needed, to follow trends, to see if they're increasing or decreasing, and to slow traffic in certain areas, something the city finds extremely valuable. Now the city is looking at a newer camera sensor technology that would count specific intersections and turns, but that comes at a higher price tag than the current method. Do you want me to look into something? Send me a message on Facebook or on Twitter. In the studio, Max Tarleton, 3 News Now.